46 continues to update an exclusive story. Police union officials now speaking up about charges filed against six current and former Atlanta police officers. CBS 46's Jimmy Kennedy has the story. The same system is being used in our in our opinion against them. The police union talking about the justice system they believe has failed the six officers charged with using excessive force against two college students captured by CBS 46 cameras. Those actions leading Chief Shields and Mayor Bottoms to also fire two of those officers. A knee-jerk reaction that the mayor and the chief made, and I believe they made it for their own political reasons. Mayor Bottoms saying the day after the incident. There would have been a time, probably even last week even, that we would have been able to take our time and very likely would not have taken the measure of terminating these officers. Those officers charged and fired learnt their fates through undesirable means. The two officers had to find out they were fired over the TV. And the other four, at least I know of one of the officers who found out he was had criminal charges against him on the TV. Chief Shields saying to me the way charges were brought against the officers didn't quite add up. I think when we have 17 files that are use of force files from 2015 to 2019 that have never been moved on by the DA's office, and yet this file can be done in under 24 hours, it's hard not to draw the conclusion that there were ex external motivators. Paul Howard says what the officers did is a crime and that... Well, I've listened to people on the radio, and this is what people keep saying. Wait a minute. If you say that you're just terminating these guys, that means that they can go to another county and get a job. The police union refuting the DA's unusual tactics. Today, as you and I are talking, Paul Howard has not spoken to and nor has asked to speak to any of those officers. Union sympathises with the protesters' message and asks that people please do not judge an entire department on individuals' actions. Live in studio, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.